Hey you guys, Molly from Molly's Artistry. So I had a request to show how I layered my paints in the cup with the little apparatus that I made. Um, so you guys, you can actually, you can make that rose pour without it for sure. Like there is no doubt. Um, but if you can see in there, I've taken some of the cardboard and I'm just reusing stuff, recycle, right? So I've taken the um, paper that comes on the canvas itself and I have made this little, um, cut my edges down and made this little X in here. You could do more, you could do less, you could just cut the cup in half um, and make kind of a similar paint kiss concept that way if you didn't want to hold two some people kind of have issues with like pouring both of them dexterity wise um and then I just press it down in there and so I'll show you how I oops sorry show you how I layer the paints in there so let me see if I put my cup there will you guys be able to see it all right so I'm going to start with um since I'm doing a ring pour I'm going to start with the white in the bottom and for my so I'm using metallic red barn red superior gold Burnt umber and black, same ones as I did the last time. And you can see my white consistency is right there. If you look in the cup, it dissipates immediately. There's nothing that sits on the cup. Let me see if I can. So, relatively thin consistency. It looks like there might be a couple lumps in here. I've been stirring, but then I keep stirring the white all over, I've gotten it all over me so far. So if you guys have any questions, if you like the video, if you want to see anything different, please comment below. Let me know what your experiences have been with pouring. Um, so without further ado, so I'm going to pour my white into the bottom. Now, because of this apparatus, the white flows all the way over. But then once, this, once it hits this partition, then it's going to um, start separating out. So I'm going to do... The red in this one, and the red in this one. I'm just pouring kind of down the side. And then I'm gonna do the black. I didn't want the black and the white to be together on this one. So black on that side, black on that side. Now I'm gonna go with the brown over here. Actually, I'm gonna go with this barn red on the other side. So the barn red in this side, and the barn red over here. Now, I'm gonna go with the gold here. Pour it down the side. That was in my black, so I'm just layering them a little bit differently. And I'll go with my browns by my white, I mean by my red over here. Then I'll go with this bright red against that brown right there. I'll go with a little bit more black over there by my gold. Go back with the metallic red. So this is all I'm doing. Just back and forth. A little bit of the barn red in these colors and this little section. Back in some gold over here. I don't even know if I've gotten any gold there yet. This is supposed to be like a rose, so I'm going to put some metallic red in every single one. Maybe a little more black in this one for contrast. Black in that one, black in that one. Finish it off with some brown because the brown and the black will be the outskirts of the pour. Whatever's on the bottom is going to be your inside. Whatever's on the top is going to be your outside because it's going to spread out. So I think that was enough. So that is now what it looks like. You guys can see it. And then I'm just going to reach in there and I just pull straight up. and then put it down. So that one I let go just a little bit and instead of that design that I got last time I got a little bit of mud at the top. So we'll see what actually happens. 
So I tried to, I was in the way the last time pouring this way, so maybe I'll try to pour like this. And I kind of like those big leaflets that I get. There's a lot of chocolate in this one. There's some of that gold. Where's my white? Okay, so this is the part that's gonna actually look like the rose, so I want to, kind of like a traveling pour. When you get down to the end, you wanna be very, very consistent with your circles if that's what you want. When you stretch them out, they'll be beautiful. Okay, I'm getting down to the end. Ooh, got it out of the way. All right, so let's, let me see if I can scoot you in. So that's what my center looks like now. I don't know where that blob of black came from, but hopefully I can fix that. All right, so there we go. I got you back on regular. Okay, so. I'm going to, so you just want to go in a circular motion and you want to go slow. No need to go fast on this, guys. Oh, I really like the, uh, the effect that I'm getting there. Okay, there's something. Now, when this happens, you have to kind of nip it in the bud right then and there. There is a blob of something in there. When you see the paint start to kind of get crazy like that, there was a blob of something in there. I don't know what it was. It was like some paint or something. Some dried paint from something. I reused my stick, so it might have been from that. Let me get a paper towel. But that will make your lines crazy. Now, I'm probably going to be able to get some of that off. And this <laughs> created the tiniest little cell formation there that is so cute but I don't want that in this so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that now like that so that's the way that you get rid of those ahead of time so you got to make sure your paint has no blobs in it okay lesson for the day and already I can tell that that's moving better so I'm going to go back to just slow and steady wins the race Go off that side a little bit. Back over here. So I'm gonna try to stretch that out down below, but I don't wanna lose. Oh man, I lost the center, but that's okay. That's okay, this one's just gonna look a little bit different. So now I'm gonna still circle my paint back around and up there. So I needed my center to be in the middle a little bit more. So lesson learned there. But as these are opening up, it's still really pretty. And I'm just gonna go down here, still circling around. There we go. So this one had a really cool effect, but it didn't look like the rose because I ended up dipping it off. So that was user error but the effect was still really cool. So I have enough paint, I'm gonna do another one. But you can see all the different effects that you can get from this. It's really cool, really, really cool. All right, let me wipe my hands off, I'll take you down so you can take a look. Yeah, if I'd have kept that right there, that rose would have been amazing. So I'm gonna try another one.
I still love the way this one came out though. So let me get, let me back out a little bit and then I can just like bring you closer. I love all those lines in there. So my white, I really got to stretch out, which is good. So that's how you get like those effects. And see, I didn't get to stretch this out as much. So I definitely needed to pour in the center. Yeah, my finger's been in the way. But that's what that looks like. I don't know, it reminds me of like the lining of something in a, in a body, in a stomach or something. It's really cool though. I'm really liking the reds. Bright reds down here, this will dry metallic. Very cool. All right, so I'll do one more. Thanks, guys. Happy painting. Bye.